Kitty Blue here. It is December the 27th. Um, it is like almost seven o'clock at night. And um, I got this done earlier today, but I was out doing some stuff. So finally got home to open this wonderful, wonderful box of the Smart Doll Pear Girl. So Smart Doll, Smart Doll box opening. This is Live and, Live and Let Live. It is the current, um, the current sculpt, or I shouldn't say the current because it's sold out right now, but it is the most recent first pair um, doll that he has released. So this is her box opening. Oh, right on the top is her pants that I bought for her. <laughs> Look at this. So huge. Oh my gosh. So excited. Um, I did go ahead and I plan on making some um, pants and clothes for my doll, but I did have to go ahead and get some official CJ, smart doll, CJ, in case you were wondering, culture Japan, um, pants from the website. So I have that. She has something that I know that will fit her. I have a few things that I'm going to try on. There she is. Live and let live. Coco. So we got the regular bag. Box of stuff, which is a little bit different size. I think it is taller than the other ones, which is actually cool. I might have to use this to um, make a make a um, kind of like little stool thing. It's a decent size. So we got her little sponge. She comes with a medium bust. So that is a medium bust. Her wig and a smart doll. CJ t-shirt. This is just the black tee. So I did go ahead and buy this too. I was going to buy the um, stain preventative leggings, but it actually was sold out. It wasn't available when I ordered um, the doll. So maybe the next time I order something, I will get those or I can just make some um, so that she came with her stand. Like I said, wig. Ooh, this is like, is this the black colored wig? So this is the NWL wig. And um, it says black. Black isn't like, it's not like a, I mean, it's a very, very dark, dark brown. Almost black. Um, I don't know if I have... I know I have one of the wigs that's in this black color, but I don't know if it's the wave wig or not. But you want to see the doll, so we're going to show you the doll. All right, so her wig, got her wig ready, got her medium bust. I'm not sure if I'll switch to the medium bust or not. Let's get out the doll herself. And um, I probably should grab one of my, I'll, I'll like, before I start trying on clothes, I will pull down one of my regular dolls. I'm sure you've probably seen tons of videos of box openings for the pair already. So you've probably already seen the different size of her compared to the rest of them. Wow, she's so pretty. She has a very sweet face. Oh, she's so cute. This is her face. She has a very sweet face, I think. Um, a lot of people, I, there's somebody had said something about like this, um, character face makeup whatever you want to call it um looks too serious but i don't know 
to me, it's like she's got just a hint of a smile to her. I don't know. That's just me. Maybe it's just something I'm seeing or it could just be. But yeah. Look at that. So yeah, her, her whole entire body is, um, she has the same in, inner skeleton in her body that the classic, which they're now called classic body does. And um, it's just the shell itself, which is the vinyl, outside vinyl pieces, um, are what is a different size, as you can probably obviously see. do about standing. Ta-da! She is standing. She is standing just fine. Here is her backside. Look at that. There's all kinds of details on her stomach. So, so cute. So cute. So cute. And this is the regular bust, which is uh, her standard bust, which is definitely not small by any means whatsoever. Um, I personally like the smaller bust, but that's just me. Um, I do have some of the other smart dolls that have medium, large, and push-up bust, but most of them have their standard bust. But yeah, I, I like her standard bust. But this is the medium. medium smooth bust so you can kind of kind of see the difference but maybe I'll maybe I'll use it for one of them so yeah as I said the skeleton frame um, that is on the inside is the same for this body as the classic bodies And uh, this is a new head sculpt, so it says Geo, Geo 8 on the back. This is a new head sculpt. And the makeup is Live and Let Live. She's got the orange cyber cap, which all of them come with now. And um, yeah, so this is where I'm going to pause the video, just so you can kind of see the... Um, I mean, if you like look at Danny's videos, he has a video on YouTube that shows um, posing her and stuff like that. But she definitely, you know, can sit upright. Her legs can go into all kinds of different ways. The evolve, evolve frame is really, really nice. Very, very clicky. Um, I read somewhere somebody had complaints about the legs being different size or length or something and I'm not exactly sure I mean I don't notice anything she stands just fine or she did a second ago <laughs> but yes so I'm going to pause real quick and get one of the classic bodies and then we're going to try on some different clothes that I have to see if they fit. Um, it looks like she doesn't like, I guess it clicks a little bit more. I was going to say, it doesn't look like she like lays flat, but I mean, how often, how often do you have your dolls laying down flat? <laughs> so, oh gosh, this is such a wonderful doll. Such a wonderful doll and it's great. Um, there's not too many dolls curvy dolls out there they're more usually like um hourglass figure with a tiny tiny waist and stuff like that um so there isn't any like pear shaped i shouldn't say any there are pear shaped bjds out there um but they're definitely not uh, at least most that i've seen don't have the detail of the skin like folds and creases and stuff like that it's usually a tiny little waist and maybe big hips and a small upper body. Usually that's what pear is. Pear shapes are usually um, 
small and kind of curved down like a pear. So, yep. And, um, I mean, I guess technically she definitely is a pear because her shoulders, if you look at her shoulders, her shoulders are definitely way narrower than her hips and her midsection. So she definitely has like a smaller up and larger bottom. Um, but a lot of pear shapes, some pear, I shouldn't say a lot. I should say some pear shapes, um, are even more exaggerated where it's much smaller on top than the bottom. Anyways, we are going to pause the video and let me go grab one of the classic girls. Oh, she also has her head off. I'm going to grab a couple of heads that I have because I really am curious um, about seeing some of the anime heads on her. Um, the neck is definitely thicker than the classic body. So, uh, they have said that the, um, oh, sorry, I just noticed like there was like this like stamp in the vinyl right there. So they've said that other heads wouldn't work on, on the pear body because of how thick the neck is, but I'm going to see because I've just been in the BJD, resin BJD hobby and stuff like that. I've all kinds of different dolls where the heads were bigger than bodies or smaller than bodies and all this stuff um so proportions just really kind of depend on what you look like the way it looks or anything like that so rambling i'm going to pause be right back okay we are back so we have one of my tea girls in the classic body and then now the new pair body so you can definitely tell much difference in the size in comparison. Um, there's still, I feel like she might, just from like the, it's like the, the like I said, the um, frame, internal frame is the same for both of them. Um, I don't know why she seems like she's taller, like her shoulders seem to be up more, but um, Just take her wig off so that we can look at the neck. So you can tell the neck difference here. There we go. It's funny that I never realized that there was like this little bit of a it's like a stamp or something on the back of that. Okay, so. This is the neck difference. You can see how much wider it is around. You can see how much thicker it is around, which is obviously, you know, pretty normal with the details of the rest of her body. Being curvy, like the armholes here are um, definitely bigger. But yeah, it's just so cool. Looks so cool. Taking her from the behind. Ta-da! I'm sure somebody's done much better comparison than what I'm doing right now. This is just real quick. I don't want the video to go on, on for an hour, but I do want to actually try a few different things on her and a few different heads. So first I just wanted to, um, this is, yeah, this is the default on the classic body. And then the default on the pair. That is that. Their feet and the hands are going to be the same. He said that they were the, um, you can switch the, well, actually you can't switch the high heel feet because they don't have um, the high heel feet for the Evolve frame yet. They just have high heel feet for Gen 2 frame, um, which was the previous frame that were in the, smart dolls but they haven't developed a new set of high heel feet yet hopefully soon i don't think it's that depending on the shoes it's not entirely necessary to have the high heel feet but um it's, it's a 
nice accessory to have just in case you want to do that. So um, I have grabbed a few heads. Um, this is actually I wanted to grab. I'm gonna put you on. on I'm gonna put you on hold. I'm gonna put you on pause for one second because I did actually want to um, try a few of the different heads because some of the heads are different sizes. So hold on one minute. I will be back. Okay, we are back with a bunch of different heads. Um, so I'm just going to try one on at a time. Where are all my heads down here? Lots of heads. Lots of floating heads. Some more. Okay, so we're going to start off with... This one is not a cut head. I didn't have um, an already painted head of the Mirai or F1, but this is Mirai head. So you can see it kind of, it might be, it doesn't sit down as far on the neck. So it's got kind of a, kind of a draft neck. It's kind of just sitting on top of the neck. But um, I think it still could work, especially like with the wig and stuff on. So that is the F1. Um, I have the, let's see, which ones did I have here? What I don't have is the classic Chitose, but I do have, um, what was Twilight? It just has, a, it's just stamped on the back. It says Mirai. Um, this one, I think the neck hole, and by neck hole, I mean the, the concave part of it here is a little bit smaller than the other dolls. Actually, that fits on pretty tight. So that is this. This is actually um, a custom head that I had done for one of my boy dolls. But I mean honestly I don't I don't feel like it's that I don't feel like it's that bad. It's like I would have to take photos of it. Um, it's like yeah the neck is the neck is a little bit tall. But I'm so used to this with um, resin BJDs that it's not it's not totally unacceptable if you wanted to like you know have a anime type head. Um, I think having a wig on it is definitely going to make a difference like something that has volume that's going to kind of, you know, take up a little space to, to kind of, uh, take away from the thicker neck. But people have thicker necks. They might have a small head and a thicker neck. You never know. So that is that one. Um, this is, this is the, um, M01 which is Perseverance, North, and Relent Relentless Anime, and different ones like that. So this one um, is much smaller neck hole, uh, and it actually sort of seems like it sits on top of the classic body neck, so it's definitely probably going to look a little bit off on the pair body. It's going to like look like it's really just sitting, sitting on top of it. Like if you move it this way, it's, it's just going to fall off. Uh, it's like you can't push it down. I don't want to push it down too hard and, and mess up the neck, but it definitely might be a little pin headed with this head. So I would say definitely I probably wouldn't. Oh my gosh, now I can't get it off. Probably wouldn't use that head for it. Um, even looking at these, see you can totally tell the difference in between this one, how wide the neck hole is versus that one. All right, we have Multiverse Chitose. This is a custom head. This is what the back of the stamp looks like. Not too hateful, not too hateful. It's still just kind of sitting on top of the neck. Um, it's easily just going to pop up just because it's going to be hard to 
push down onto that and I feel like as soon as you move the neck it might pop out but I don't think it's too hateful she's got a little bit wider of a face than the other ones do now I'm gonna have to put all these heads back on my dolls all right who do we have next this is oh geo8 of course geo8 is live and uh course that one's going to fit. This one is a, try to kind of go in order here. Where is, here we go. <clears throat> so now we have Liberty, which is the classic anime Liberty. It also has like a stamp on the back that says Mirai. And you can see the hole is probably kind of a little bit smaller as well compared to this one. I should be comparing these to the GO8. Yeah. See how much wider that hole is? I so hope he does like a, a vitiligo um, pair through with a head that fits a little bit better. Um, I'm not sure if he's totally scrapped the idea of doing an anime head, but um, the one anime head he did, he didn't quite like the way it turned out, so um, he's been going more for the semi real. That is that. Um, this is also called F4, F4 head. Um, if you look at some of the databases on the different head sculpts, a lot of them use that. This, my favorite, is the prowess head. And on the back, it's stamped Danny Chu. And, uh, oh, this one is, this one's promising. It's got a pretty wide neck there. And um, it's a little bit wider of a face, too, so... I'm very excited about this one because I totally would love to have a, oh my gosh. So like, how cute is that? How cute is that? It's still kind of sitting on top. It's still kind of sitting on top of the head, but actually I don't think I have it all the way on. There we go. So I mean, honestly, I don't think I don't think that's horrible. I don't think that's very bad. I think she looks very, very cute with this anime head. Um, again, you just have to just because of the it's the whole or the neck part isn't as deep in the head. But yeah, she just has a long neck. Yeah. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Like I said, that is the prowess head, or the F5. Um, this is the Kanata head. It does not have a stamp whatsoever on it. I do not have one in Coco. I just have this blank um, blue head. So I think this will probably work nicely just because um, it's one of the bigger heads. As far as like being like a wider head sculpt and everything, this is really good for different boy sculpts. Um, I think I have I have one of my boys that has this head. This is a blank head and it hasn't been used. It's kind of a little bit harder to get on. There we go. Okay. Like the lights are like making it. I'm trying to trying to do something. But I think I think that works just fine. Totally works fine. So if you can find somebody that has one of these, not a 
heads. I think that's perfect. I think that's perfect for anime. For this body. <clears throat> All right. This one's probably going to fit really small. It's a cos head. COS on the back. Definitely has a smaller neck hole. So it's definitely going to sit like right on top of that. So there's like, there's still a ledge here. So that might be a little, that, and this is a boy face up, so. But it might be a little bit pinheaded. Okay, we have the Monday sculpt, which is, I'm sorry, tomorrow, which is the G03. And this one's a little bit, I think it's a little bit wider than um, the G04 and G07. And the G05, I think I have a G05 too. But I feel like a lot of the semi-real heads are going to fit kind of the same way. So yeah, it's kind of still sitting on top of the head because it's a smaller head. Smiling pear doll. That would be so cute. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, I'm not going to, I'm actually not going to, I don't think I'm going to try on the I don't, might as well. I've already gone this far. This is a G04. It's gonna fit. It's gonna fit the same. It's gonna kind of sit on top of the head because it's not as deep. But that is relentless. I mean, again, if you have hair kind of covering here, you're not gonna be maybe noticing it as much. But it definitely will probably start to fall off. So this is the G05, which is beyond. Did I already put her head on? I don't think I did. So this is the G05. G05 is beyond. And this, this one actually doesn't fit too bad. I feel like this one looks pretty decent. It's not hateful. It's still kind of small where it's just sitting on her neck because um, the neck is so wide. But again, if you have like hair kind of coming over, you know, on her, then I don't think it's going to be as noticeable. And then I think that is it. That was the G07. Yeah, G07 was the Relentless. I think I put that on her. I think I put Geo 7 on her. Yeah, so that's going to be the same. Sorry if I already put that on her. I forget which where I was at. <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely tell a difference in the head sizes. So that is the swapping of the heads. Maybe I'll take some pictures in case nobody wants to watch this long video. We're going to get... We're going to let Liv's head back on here. So now you can see this sets like right, um, not only on top, but it kind of the neck sets up into the actual head. So it definitely is very proportioned for her. Get her wig. I'm going to do some fun like wig play with her. Um, not on video because yeah, we'll be here forever. I have like a ton of wigs that I want to try on her. That is her. She is so gorgeous. Coco skin is just so, so gorgeous. And this wig is really, really nice. It's like the right amount of curves for me, or curves, the right amount of curls for me. Um, like really tight curls. I just have a hard time managing. <laughs> So yeah, we do have this uh, the Smart Doll official clothing, um, but of course we know that that's going to fit. Um, I have a box full of stuff here that um, I would want to try on her. 
So at this point, that is it as far as the box opening and just a kind of short little review and heads and stuff like that. So if you don't want to watch me sit here and like play with my doll and put clothing on her, then um, you can just stop watching. But please subscribe, like the video, and post any comments below. Uh, maybe I'll actually pause and not have to like do the whole clothing changing with her. Like pause, put something on her, like come back. Um, because yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I want to go through. The shirt that I actually made, some clothes that I made, some things that are just adorable that are going to look really cute on her if they actually fit. Um, that are a little bit bigger, uh, SD size. And then all kinds of random stuff. I've got some like American Girl or our generation, you know, 18 inch doll clothing in here as well. Um, yeah, different things, different things. A few little fun things too. So we are going to start with some 18 inch girl clothes. So this is a bunch of 18 inch girl clothes that I have. I've got some cute shirts. Cute jacket, some cute little shorts that I feel like might fit on her. And then these are just some tiny, these are some capri pants. Well, they'll be capri pants on her, but they're long. This probably won't fit because it's not stretched, but we're going to try that on her too. So I am going to, yeah, just get started and I'm going to pause the video, try some things on her pop back in. Gonna have to take her head back off. Sorry girl. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. And um, yeah. Okay, so the first thing I had to totally try on her was this unicorn shirt. Um, this is like a tank top. I just kind of twisted the look around so that's the way it would be. But I thought it would just be fun to uh Twist it like this and make it a little bit more fun to twist it. Um, the skirt is definitely like way short, but I was actually surprised it did fit around her. So maybe like a longer skirt would work. And I think since I know that most of these American Girl clothing 18 inch doll clothing are going to fit. I think I'm going to try them on off video just because it's going to be a really, really long video. And um, I'm just going to take pictures because I wanted to take pictures anyway. Erg. These do not go above her hips. So that is a no. But we're going to try it on these cute little shorts. See those are elastic, they might go up her legs. That and you see me struggling to put on doll clothes. Oh, oh, maybe. Just get over your get over your boot. I think if she didn't have <laughs> I think if she didn't have the uh smart underwear on, these would would have gone on much better. They're kind of getting caught up in the the boxers that she's wearing underneath. But I think these would I think these would fit fine. I'm gonna like try these on again without the underwear underneath. Since these are kind of sleep shorts anyways. So yeah, I, I, I'm pretty confident that all of these shirts are gonna fit her, so I'm just going to do um, pictures of all of this and post them on um, my Instagram. The shirt is going to look fabulous. I'm pretty sure it's going to, yeah, it's very stretchy, so it's definitely going to fit. These are not going to fit. Unicorn! So, um, Thing is that I looked up 
the measurements for Eiffel House, which is, um, which is a BJD company, and they have a doll size that is EID, and um, it is like the bigger biggest size that they have, and she's more of an hourglass figure, but the measurements are pretty, pretty close by a couple of centimeters. So I'm thinking that some of the stuff that I made for my EID girl um, are going to fit on her. I'm really hoping, crossing fingers. But first, before I do that, because I think this one dress I have, I really hope is going to fit her. So this is a sweater that I made from, um, I can't remember which, which pattern it was for which which company or which um Etsy shop I did a few different patterns I'll have to put that in like the comments or something oh this is totally gonna fit her and I'm excited because I thought this was I thought this was a little bit too big and baggy for my um for my other girls so I'm gonna be like really excited if this actually fits on her really well totally gonna fit her I think maybe in a thinner, thinner fabric might be a little bit better. Or like when I make this, I'm going to this band here, I'm going to make bigger. I think the rest of it is pretty spot on, but I can't, I don't want to force it too much down her body because I don't want to like stretch this particular one out. Oh, there we go. Actually, I got it. So yeah, it's like almost kind of a bat wing kind of dress, or I should say shirt. I would wear these with leggings because that's really, really short. I'm excited that that actually does fit. Um, I'm going to try on one last thing because I think, well, yeah, I'm kind of soaking up. That's 10 more minutes here. Because I've got a lot of stuff. Lots of stuff. So, um, yeah. We don't want an hour long video, right? We don't want an hour long video. So yeah, I'm going to post all this stuff on um, on Instagram and probably on Facebook. I'm going to do some different wigs and stuff on her to see what she looks like in different wigs. And um, yeah, be sure to go to my Instagram channel and uh, look at those pictures. Maybe I'll add some at the very end of this video. But yeah. I really think there's already been some people that have tried on different things so I don't want to take up the rest of this video so that is my box opening for today December the 27th um, she was stuck at the DHL facility in Cincinnati all weekend long and um, I was lucky that I got her today it actually was being held again closer to my home, um, but they were able to deliver her. So yay, we have a pair girl in our crew. I've got lots of cleaning up to do. And uh, yes, check out my Instagram. If you're in the Facebook group, the Smart Doll Appreciation Society is usually where I post um, most of my things. There are a couple other Smart Doll groups that I belong to, but I it's just uh, time-wise. It's a lot of groups to be posting to, um, but yeah, gorgeous. She's so gorgeous, and um, I did actually give her a name, but um, it's eluding me right now, so Leatrice, Leatrice Logan is actually her name, <laughs> her headless name. So this is Leatrice Logan. You will see her on Facebook very shortly. 
when I get a bunch of different pictures of her with different wigs, different clothes, try on all this stuff, and um, remember which patterns I actually used to make this stuff so that I can post that down that, hey, I tried on this shirt from this artist. Um, some of these I'm not even sure. They don't even have labels on them. But I am rambling. Like I said, hit that subscribe button so that you can get um, upcoming notification of upcoming content. Like the video. Feel free to place any comments below. Sorry that it's a long video. Um, it would be even longer if I tried to own all this stuff. So I apologize for starting to do it and then saying, you know what, let's not do this. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be spending at least an hour or two trying on different things and taking pictures. So be sure to check out my Instagram, like I said which will be in the um, description below and see about all kinds of cute little fashions that I put on my lovely new pear girl. So until next time, take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.